Yeah, you know, we obviously it's it's important still, and it, it for the players to understand practice is important to continue to get better. I think uh, I talked to coaches around the country, friends. Uh, you know, you get into the dog days of practice where they want to get to games. Uh, obviously, the scrimmage help getting the the Pitt State exhibition help just kind of break it up. Uh, but we, uh, you know, now you, you still got to get after it and continue to improve. And I, you hope they have the maturity to see that. Um, you know, we've had some good practices. I thought Sunday morning we were off Saturday. Sunday morning was really good. Yesterday wasn't quite as good, but it wasn't it wasn't a bad practice by any means. So now get to games. Um, you know, we, we took a lot of time to watch film against Pitt State. We almost watched the entire game uh, just so everybody that played could see themselves, offense and defense, uh, and, and continue to make improvement. Uh, you know, as far as the injuries and things go, um, Davion did get cleared. He, he got to practice a little bit yesterday, uh, but that was the first time in, in probably 10 days. Uh, you know, we I, I would anticipate – uh, you know, he would not probably play Wednesday, but we'll see how today's practice goes and how he feels tomorrow to see if we can get him a little bit of run uh, on, on Wednesday night if, if, if we need him. Uh, but, it, it, you know, I was, I was pleased overall with the Pitt State uh, exhibition. Uh, you know, the, I thought our defense was pretty solid. Uh, we continue to hopefully continue to get better with that. Uh, the turnovers was the the biggest factor, uh, you know, with, and I think every, that was pretty glaring, especially in the first half and the second half, we did a little better with that until the end. And now we just, uh, you know, we, we got to protect that ball, take care of that ball and really work to get good shots. I think that's been the emphasis this, this last few days. Thank you, Coach. I appreciate the comments. I will open it up to questions. So just hit the the uh, hit the uh, tool, text bar to ask a question. First question to Kellis Robinette. So Bruce, when you went back and watched the film, what what did you like most about the Pitt State game? What still concerned you a little bit? Well, as I said, the, the, the turnovers has been the thing, and I I mentioned to you guys even last week, it's uh, probably the you know most glaring thing that that stands out. I, I really believe we're good shooters, um, and we got a lot of weapons and versatility. Um, we got to get shots off. Uh, I, I know at halftime we shot 57%, but you have 12 turnovers. So if you just cut that in half and you, and those possessions, you get shots off, you, you got another three field goals possibly, or you're getting to the free throw line. So, you know, I think that's the big thing. Some of that's, you know, still figuring out who we are, and, you know, newness, you got to, you know, we played a lot, played a lot of new guys last week. Um, you know, so that that's part of it. Um, you know, our defense has been pretty good. Uh, uh, our postie was not very good against them. And it's, you know, we, we really talked about, I think Casey doesn't want to get in foul trouble. So sometimes he, he, he does, he plays a little tentative and then he ends up getting fouls and, uh, you know, I, you know, be aggressive, move your feet. I, I keep telling one of the messages this week is, play defense before your guy gets the ball, not when he gets the ball. You know, we got, there's good players around the country. Uh, and if you let them get the ball in their comfort zone, you know, they're going to, they're going to take you, they're going to go, you know, go after you. So uh, I think those are, you know, things we got to get better at. Our, our rebounding has been pretty good, uh, but we still, when we watch film, we don't always box out. And I, I don't want that to, um, to be a difference factor, we did um, out rebound a uh, a bigger uh, Oregon team in the scrimmage, and then Pitt State, you know, wasn't as small or was a little smaller. They weren't, you know, we were bigger than them, and we out rebounded them. But you still see the the, the blockouts that that have to get better because when we get teams that crash, and especially 
you know, as you get into the league, uh, you're going to make have to make sure you block out. And we, we've asked a little bit about, um, you know, how, how Mike's role maybe changes this year or being more efficient, taking fewer shots, making more. Um, I'm curious, what does Nigel's role um, look like this season in a perfect world? Um, is it the same or how do you see that? Well, I, you know, I think all of them, um, it's, I think with our versatility and our depth, uh, they may not get as many shots as last year, but then, you know, as, as you just mentioned, the word to me is a key word is efficiency and then consistency. I, you know, that's, that's important. You know, you look at Selton only nine shots, but he made six of them against uh, Pitt state that, that to me, that's efficient. And you're not going to have every game shoot 66%. But uh, we don't, you know, we don't need the one for nines. Uh, you know, we got too many good players and, you know, again, work to get better shots. I, I was hoping that, you know, after it, I would hope that Mike got a few more shots, you know, in Pitt State. And, and maybe a couple of those turnovers would allow that to get a better shot. Uh, you know, but if we can keep him, Nigel, um, you know, Mark, where they're getting, um, you know, eight to 12 shots and, and have good balance between those guys. Um, and then, you know, with Selton and Marquise uh, also getting, you know, you know, from six to 10 shots, depending on the game, um, you know, I think they can be effective and, and, and we can be consistent. I think that's the big thing we need to get. Thanks Bruce. Mm -hmm. Next question to Michael Goins. Yeah, Bruce, how long does it take you really to get a rotation set early in the season? Well, I think it'll take a little bit of time, um, you know, and I, again, I'm not sure who's going to start. We'll see how things go today. Um, you know, ironically, and, and this is something we've emphasized to the players um, in, in Oregon scrimmage, Mark did not start. He was our leading scorer. He had, you know, was – almost a double double in that game. And, and then, you know, we, we gave him a starting opportunity and Selton moved to the coming off the bench. And then ironically, he's the leading score, uh, both. And then Logan's the second leading score and he's coming off the bench. So I hope they're trying to get, understand that, you know, Hey, starting, I know it's important. It's, it's, it's great to run out there, but it's almost more important for our team that when you come in, you're consistent. Uh, and if you play well, you're going to stay on the court. And, you know, because, and again, that goes back to our versatility. And I, I hope that becomes our strength. Uh, you know, but at the same time, we got to know who's, you know, who can shoot the ball and, and, and the tempo of the game, uh, where we can get those guys good shots. And, and I hope that's the part of the rotation figuring out their roles, the rotation over the next, next two, three weeks. Uh, I did a radio show last night and our next one is December 2nd. We'll have, I think we're going to have six games done by then. And I, I think by that time, you'll have a little better feel of our rotation and our roles, which is, you know, important, our development as a team. And we're Davion available and playing on a regular basis. What does that do to Logan's uh, role in the rotation and just where does he fit? Well, Logan has played uh, in practice. He's played almost more four and because you got Casey and, and, and then Davion uh, kind of rotating against each other. He has rotated in, in the five. Um, I think the big thing with him, if teams are playing small ball, it would be hard for him to play the four. If teams are a little bigger, uh, you know, he could play some four. He's got pretty good skill. Uh, the only thing I worry about with the young guy like that, and uh, he just trying to learn both positions, it, it, it takes a little bit of toll on him mentally. Uh, he gets a little frustrated, but uh, he wants to do well and he wants to learn. Comes in almost every day uh, just to talk, watch film. Uh, you know, so it, he's, he's had a great attitude as far as that goes. And it's Sutton Miguel kind of feel, felt like he's uh, settled in a little more this year. I, I hope so. You know, we'll see how it goes. Um, you know, Coach Henderson and myself sat down with him 
uh, early last week. And, and we just kind of just understanding, you know, it's with all guys, understanding your strengths, your weaknesses, your role, how you can help the team, but still working at getting better at some of the other stuff. And you still can get better every day uh, in practice and, and coming in extra. Uh, so I, I hope, I hope he can and, and be happy and satisfied again, play well, use your minutes, play to exhaustion. If you do those things, uh, you're going to, you're going to have success and we'll have success. Thank you, Bruce. Other questions for coach? Just raise your hand in the toolbar. Coach, uh, I'll, since ever gave some more questions, uh, can you give us a kind of a preview on Florida a and I know they return yeah, a lot of players. Um, a lot of the guys played for them uh, when they came here three years ago. Uh, it was a game we, I think we led by 15 or so at halftime, got it back, got it into the 20s. Uh, they cut it back down. I think it still ended up 18 or 20 at the end. Um, but they, they got some veterans. They have one six-year guy because of COVID, two fifth-year guys, a four-year guy. Um, as I mentioned, a lot of them played against us the last time they came here. So they got some experience. Um, uh, they, they do have some athleticism, some depth. Uh, Randolph has, has been their leading scorer. Not a, a kind of anti anti what uh, guards are now he doesn't shoot the ball from three a whole lot a lot of pull-ups get to the hoop he leads them in assists leads them in steals uh very very productive player uh for them uh they they can go kind of mismatch um with a, a mobile five at times and they'll they'll run him off for some threes and uh put you in a little bit of bind uh with that part of it so uh, you know, I, they can come at you with a lot of different defenses. So I, I think it's good. I, I would anticipate some zones, some presses, things that keep us off balance. Uh, but they've also played, they played man at, at times also. Uh, they could trap us, uh, you know, in, in different situations. So uh, it's a good game for our guys to, we're going to have to play basketball and, make decisions and read what uh, they give us. I know he has a long, long history with uh, coach Kruger. Uh, yes. Is there any similarities to how they play on how maybe his Oklahoma teams played? Yeah, they're going to run some of the same offensive sets that, um, uh, that, you know, that he, that Lon ran, the, the, we call it Gator action, which, Lon was used a lot way back when he was at Florida and um, kind of a shuffle into single singles. And, um, and then he, he was with Dana also Altman. So a little bit Dana's matchup zone and, and pressed at three quarter press, um, you know, so it, you'll see some of those things that, uh, that, that those coaches usually go back. Who did you work for? Who's your mentors? And then that's why you end up coaching that way. So. Uh, you know, but they got, they have some veteran guys and, uh, you know, we're, hopefully we're, we're ready to play at a high level and excited about uh, the opening game. Thank you, coach. We'll go to Grant Flanders for the next question. Hey coach, I wanted to ask about uh, Luke Kazuki and how important do you think the, some of these non-conference games are to really get his confidence going this season? Yeah, I, I, you know, I kind of told you guys last week at the press conference, he, he might have been one of the bigger surprises or, you know, for our team. Um, and he had been really, really consistent. And then he, he didn't play real well against Pitt State. I'm not sure why or what, but, uh, uh, you know, he he's just – he's a guy that can just give us little things. He, 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 he does defend well. He can make open shots. Um, execution, you know, of our sets, uh, you know, just he, he, great teammate comes every day, battles, never says a word, you know, like, you know, you don't have to deal with negativity or, you know, dealing with, uh, I think more than anything, a little bit, you know, going when we had Dean, when he was young, you know, be confident, create, have that mojo, kind of what you're talking about, 
hey, you're a good player, be a player, play like a player. And, uh, but he's still young and, uh, you know, he missed all, most of last year. And we, we talked about it. We put him in games when he probably wasn't ready, but I, I hope that experience helps him. And uh, he can be a really nice factor for us off the bench and, and give us some nice production. And then I thought, you know, Marquise did a lot of really good things well against Pitt State, but then he did a lot of other things that would probably be detrimental to, you know, tougher competition. Yeah, How do you yes. get that out of him? Keep the good in him, but take some of that bad out of him. It's that, it's that fine line. And, uh, you know, it's I think a couple of times he actually outran his dribble. He was going running faster than his dribble could keep up with him. And, um, you know, but again, that's, you know, he's, like a lot of, he, he's not a young guy, but it, it's new. He's got something to prove. He wants to show everyone, but you just got to play basketball and, and learn what you can do and figure. I think the role part is one of our big steps coming up here, that rotation and that role part. And then, uh, you know, we just keep telling them, you know, I, if you're, you can't make a play every time you touch it. And also, he's, he is a good shooter with good range. Let other people make plays for you. You don't have to make your own play all the time. And I think that's just something. He's, it's got to evolve, hopefully, over the next few weeks. Then the last one I got for you, do you think um, Casey's uh, foul issue is more on his knee, or do you think he's still trying to get back in the swing of things? I think sometimes Casey outthinks himself, and, and he's worried about fouls. Uh, because it has it has been something that's plagued him even going back when he was at El Paso uh, if you look up his stats there um, you know and and he I you know it's like if there's a loose ball the guy that dives on it usually doesn't get hurt the guy that stands there and reaches gets his legs taken out it's the same thing on defense you gotta if you are worried about fouls you're a step behind and now you get a foul if you're on your toes and you're aggressive and play defense before you catch it, uh, before your man catches it, then usually you're, you stay out of foul trouble. And I think that's where he's got to take a step. He's got to get on his toes, be a little more active on his line. On the, the we, we always call it line of the ball, be at the line of the ball, line of your man. And uh, it, I, I hope it helps him stay out of foul trouble. Thank you, Coach. Yep. Uh, next question to Ryan Gilbert. Hey, Coach, just wanted to ask about Carlton Lingard. Do you anticipate getting him back anytime soon? Well, um, he he did have another little procedure last week. Um, and uh, I'm sorry, I had a call come in. Uh, I did, he did have a little procedure last week. And uh, I, he did some running for the first time. Uh, and, and, you know, again, just after the procedure on Sunday and Monday. And we're hoping uh, to get him back on the basketball court by, by next week. I think that's our goal. Maybe a little five on zero at the end of the week and then get him back on the court. But it, it would be nice. It would be nice for him. And it would also give us a little more depth. Uh, I'm afraid of wearing down Casey and Davion and in practice without subs. And, uh, you know, it's something that, uh, you know, I think practices are always a lot tougher on the guys in games. So the more depth we have, the more it can, uh, it's going to help us as far as that goes. And it also, Carlton gives us length and he's good, really good shooting ability. And it would be nice to get him back with our group. Any other questions for coach before we let him go? Okay. Coach, I appreciate the time. Thanks yeah. as always. Thanks, guys. Thank Thanks you, guys. For... All right. Thanks, Bye. guys, for being on. Thanks, Coach.